say it's emotional. All right. All Welcome right. back to the show. And now we've just uh, wrapped up our new segment and it's time to meet our first guest of the day. Uh, yes, you've probably right. known him now very, very well because mm -hmm. he is our love guru. He was, uh, he's our resident date coach here exactly. on The Breakfast Show. And he's back here to tell us more about the eight fatal flaws uh, in a relationship. And what do you want to, what, what must you look out for? Exactly. Mm. Like, of course, I mean, if, 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 if your partner's sitting right beside you, you're looking straight into his eyes and you go, we never talk anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you mean we don't talk? We're that's, talking. That's we're right, talk we're, gentlemen. We're talking now. <laughs> now. Why do you keep saying that? Oh, yeah. gee, See, well. doesn't, it, doesn't it remind you of a situation that you've probably been through before? Well, don't worry. We have our resident coach here, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Andrew Chow, back here to tell us more about the eight fatal flaws. Good morning, sir. Sifu, thank you for coming back. Yeah, Sifu. Yeah, it's so nice to see you guys again after two weeks. Much appreciated, know, much yeah. appreciated as well. And uh, we know you've got a, a, a pre-workshop that's happening before the Singles Cruise kicks off. Yeah, and, right. we'll uh, talk but, about that a little. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But first, okay. uh, because I'm so curious to find out <laughs> these eight fatal, fatal flaws. But right. before that, uh, we've covered on your last interview yeah. the three myths. That's right. Um, so, so let's recap again before we Okay, go let's very quickly recap. Last week, uh, two weeks ago when I was here, mm -hmm. I, I was talking about the three myths. Yep. The first one would be true love conquers all, Blech. not true. <laughs> Second one, love at first sight, not true. Blech. Number three, uh, your partner will fulfill you completely. Again, not true. We right. all have different needs. Different needs. It's true. Right. Now, right. the problem with life is that nobody taught us how to choose our partner. True. So, courtship and romance isn't enough to make a relationship last. Mm -hmm. You need commitment and compatibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, assuming now you're in the right relationship, okay. Assuming. Okay. there are still <laughs> character flaws that uh, <clears throat> might happen or might surface in your partner that you need to be very aware of and you need to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Because flaws means you will destroy the relationship. Mm -hmm. right. So, the very, very first one, mm -hmm. it starts mm -hmm. with A, anger. Oh, anger. Yeah. As anger. In anger towards yes. anything in general or just... Okay, uh, don't get me wrong. Specific, All yeah. of us will get angry one time or the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we're talking about extreme anger. Rage. People who cannot control the anger. Mm -hmm. When he get angry, his mm -hmm. hands started trembling. Yo. His voice started cracking. Yo. He punched the windows. Yo. He threw things at you. Yo. Now, that is a monster, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So living with someone or dating someone with an anger issue mm -hmm. is like living with a terrorist. Right. Ooh, terrorist. Oh, terrorist. <laughs> because it will destroy you because mm -hmm. that is a serious problem mm -hmm. you need to deal with. Now, I'm not just talking about men, mm -hmm. women too. Women as well, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, don't be fooled by their size, they can be oh, very small. Oh, yes, don't be fooled by their size. <laughs> oh, no, you no, speak no. as if, as you know, you've been through this Hansen, before. hell hath no fury. Hell like, hath no fury. Like indeed. a woman scorn, you know? Oh, but yes. um, even, even, even so, I mean, uh, going towards extreme anger, um, it, it's more of the anger management, is it? That's right. Is it not? So, if there's an anger management issue, mm -hmm. uh, I think we need to deal with it because that will eat you up, mm -hmm. you know? And, the, and if you're on the receiving end, you feel like you're, walk, you're always walking on eggshell. Nice, yeah. Yeah. You know, so you don't know when this, your partner is going to blow up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So look out for this while you're dating, okay. not after you get married. Yeah. So <laughs> right. anger is that, that's yes. one. Okay. That's right. The second one would be victim consciousness. Victim consciousness are people who blame you for everything, everything. that happens. Oh, you know? goodness. So they always blame other people, not themselves. Right. Okay? Why didn't make it in life? Because I always serve lousy bosses. Right, uh, right, right. You know? Right. Why I why I wasn't successful? Because nobody gave me a chance. You know, uh. if only I am given a chance. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is that people like this, they enjoy suffering. They mm -hmm. they enjoy They thrive from it, don't they? Yeah. You know, they just enjoy yeah. feeling miserable. Uh, and, and, you know, drama, and you know, yeah. and you know, and then these are people who always get upset and get moody for nothing, for mm -hmm. no reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you try the whole day mm -hmm. just to find out what happened to him. Mm -hmm. Why are you so moody? Tell yeah. me. Mm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. Susa, susa. no it doesn't help. Yeah. And, so so Living with someone like this, mm -hmm. it's a big problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, which brings me to point number three. Okay. Directly opposite of point number two, which is victim consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's a control freak. Ah. Control freak. Okay. A control freak mm -hmm. uh, wants control all the time. I see, I see. Okay. You know, and a control freak likes to make decisions all by himself. Ah. And he wants to tell you what he wants you to do. Ah. A victim consciousness. Uh, person mm -hmm. leave everything to you uh, so it's directly opposite i see i see I so see. it's interesting when you have someone who is control freak if we're not just talking about mm -hmm. you know asking you every hour where are you and so on mm -hmm. they, they want total control of your life mm -hmm. even to the extent that 
the details of how you dress and mm -hmm. so how you should be talking. I don't like you wearing this. Uh, how you should act. Uh, how you should, should act, you know. Yeah, so okay. so dating a control freak, you're not yourself anymore after mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. So you lose your own identity. Mm -hmm. So that's not good. All right, all right. All right. All right. Thank now, you very much. Four will be very interesting. Uh -huh. Sexual addiction. Oh. Addiction. Yeah. Addiction, addiction problem. So, so okay. uh, uh, there's a very thin line between uh, um, uh, sexually healthy and sexually right. addicted. Okay. Right. I'm actually talking about pornography here. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, there are always magazines in the media who always say we spice up our sex life, we mm -hmm. try something new, mm -hmm. or why not we videotape ourselves mm -hmm. and then we enjoy mm -hmm. later and so on. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing here is that you. If, the, if there's a need for a third element mm -hmm. to be involved in mm -hmm. your sex life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that element itself is actually as good as a third party. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're very new in the relationship, yes? Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And it's actually destroy intimacy rather than to enhance it. Mm -hmm. So that's right. the point that we need to, to take note. Right. So it could be kinky, spicy for a while, mm -hmm. but actually it's a, it's a serious problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. after that, uh, maybe after videotaping, they just move on to something else and something else and something else, yeah. never actually focusing on the intimacy between two people. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and another point to note is uh, don't ever agree on videotaping because mm -hmm. you will find yourself being the next star on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Well, I yes. think YouTube bans that, but there, there are other sites. <laughs> that are, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Hanson, yeah, for that bit you. of information. Yeah. I don't know which ones. Though. I yeah. know the others. YouTube all. just lost a lot of business. Okay. I just, I just, all right. Well, okay. Can, can Number five would be yeah. actually, um, you know, this person, uh, uh, you know, he's not emotionally available. Mm -hmm. You know, he just can't share. He just right. can't talk. He just can't share the feeling. Mm -hmm. He's in fact, he doesn't know how to relate. Now, what He's is an the, island, basically. What is the meaning? Correct. What yeah. is the meaning of the word relationship? Well, between two people. Yeah. You have to relate. Yes. Yeah. You have to interact. So if only one person is relating and talking, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. Yeah. Well, some women like the strong, silent type. So yeah. what do you say to that? <laughs> they like that ship, hence the relationship. <laughs> they jump on that ship. Yeah. I think it's always fun for a while, but yeah. in the long run, we're always talking about long run. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. We need two parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So going on very quickly to the sixth one would be childishness. Never grow up, never take ownership, you know, of mm. your finances, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on your career planning. Just being a kid It's mm -hmm. going to be way. very, very mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, you know, especially for men, we're supposed to be the leader of the household. Yes. We are the protector, provider. Yeah. So yes, if we yes. can't take control of this mm -hmm. and you never grow up, you always leave the decision to your wife. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a tough situation with your in-laws, you mm -hmm. push your wife to talk mm -hmm. on your behalf, mm -hmm. that is very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially right. with, yeah. So b b basically all these tips are, um, are require, like, like for example, anger and all this, e everyone goes through it, yeah? That's but right. yeah. The, 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 the one thing we like to advocate here is, is moderation, or yeah, the right. balance that you must attain. How important is it to achieve balance? Um, I think if you see a persistent pattern, mm -hmm. I think uh, it's best to seek professional help. Mm -hmm. You know, the sooner you seek help, the less releasing you need to do because mm -hmm. there is another guru mm -hmm. who is actually involved in releasing. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, it has to do with if you see flaws, you have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Don't hide it. Because mm -hmm. right. the longer it is, the worse yeah. it becomes. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I thought two, two years in the relationship, you never brought it up. I thought it's never a problem. Why is it a problem now? Mm -hmm. Because you never started to talk about it from day one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so l let me put this scenario to you. You know, you, 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 you're with this guy now for a mm -hmm. while. You're with this girl now for a while. And you love that person, you know you love that person. And you know, the whole thing about accepting everyone, the, that person's flaws versus hoping for that person to change. So how do you find that balance, of it? And especially when you have so much emotions invested right. in it already? Mm -hmm. Very good point. Yeah. Said, remember the first need? Mm -hmm. True love conquers all. Yes. Yeah. No, it does, yeah. It does <laughs> happen, right? right? No. Okay. No, no. Yes, you want to love the person yeah. for who he is, but you love the person too much for him to remain where he is. Right. Mm. Because you always want the other person to improve. So you yeah. can still hope for change for that person. Don't hope for change. Start to effect change. Mm -hmm. start, effect change. Start okay. to help this person right. to grow, to grow out of it. Achieve right. if, potential. Yeah? If not, it's gonna affect you, it's gonna affect your children and, mm. and it's gonna affect two families mm -hmm. eventually. Yeah. So it's gonna be a time bomb. Mm 
Right. That's next week's topic. You, you brought a good point of talking about uh, about these problems once you see them becoming potential threats, yeah? But you, you got to admit, come on, Hanson, you know, um, men are not the best when it comes to sharing hearts. You no. know, uh, uh, for women, they, they, they got no problems pouring their heart out. Uh, most women, yes. I mean, I don't want to stereotype, of course, yeah. but for most men, it's... Yeah. it's not for a SAG, which stands for <laughs> Sensitive New Age Guy. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Like uh, Nazi himself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot compute. Because it, it's, it's really difficult to, to of course, uh, take out demons between yourself. That's right. Mm. And I think, in terms of deep communication, sometimes we men need to let the woman mm -hmm. start, the, start the ball rolling. Right. Mm -hmm. And after a while, when we warm up, we follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. What can we do, like, okay, for men, especially we have so much pride, right, mm -hmm. and so much of this... Ego. Ego, or, or this this, uh, this <laughs> image of a, a real man that we have to be. How can we improve our communication skills? And not just, like, talking, but actually mm -hmm. communicating as in understanding what the person is saying and also uh, being able to articulate out your, your feelings mm -hmm. quite accurately. I think we men, we, we, we should start off by asking questions, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe mm -hmm. we should ask our partner that we're seeing, when I do this, when I say this, mm -hmm. when I say this, when I do right. this to you, when, I, when you see me do this to others, mm -hmm. what makes you feel? What yeah. is on your mind? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if you're in this person's shoe, mm -hmm. yeah. how would you have felt? So when we get feedback, mm -hmm. there's an internal voice. We must, yeah. we men need the internal voice to speak to us first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the motivation must come from within, yeah. not without. Mm -hmm. So as long as we believe that, hey, I think I have a problem, mm -hmm. I need to change. But isn't the ego there and because we do not, we might not like what we hear, mm -hmm. hence we don't ask cause, or, or we don't talk about it because we might not like what it's going to come out exactly. from the other part. Yeah, I think when, if we're all alone, I think mm -hmm. ego is very important. Yeah. But when we have someone, we need to, mm -hmm. um, we need some we need to manage right. this ego. Yeah. Yeah. We need to be humble mm -hmm. and it's yeah. for the good of the relationship. So yeah. life is not just us alone. Mm -hmm. It's true. So, Number seven, mm -hmm. it's if you ever find your partner, can't forget the previous partner. Mm -hmm. Always mentioning him Emotional or her. Baggage. You know, oh I like goodness. that jacket. You know, it reminds me of my ex. You know, oh. He looks very good, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I think you should, you know, work out like my ex, like Anson. You know, it's a good upper body. You know, I really wish I could. Have. It's quite hard to live out there. Yeah. Okay. If you ever, you know, if you ever have a partner who always talk about the ex and, and, and is so concerned about the ex, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a problem too. Mm -hmm. So you can look up there. Last but not least, okay. emotional damage from childhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that so one's a tough one. That's very, very, very tough. tough. That you will definitely need professional, professional help. help. Yes, yeah. uh, a professional releaser basically that's right. to help that's you right. to release all these pent-up right. feelings. Because Releasing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When you have trauma that's experienced in childhood, it affects you. You cannot be intimate with another person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially, okay. for example, you witness your mm -hmm. dad beat up your mom mm -hmm. very badly over 10 years, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going to be yeah. very hard. It's not so, and you probably like have, mm -hmm. you know, sort of like mm -hmm. uh, suppressed, suppressed it and sort of like yeah. hide it over the years with many, many things covering up. So it's very hard to get to the to root the of the problem, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so uh, that, that is the most serious. I think you should okay. seek professional help. All right, so these are the eight fatal flaws, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that uh, you should be looking out for if you're in a relationship. Yeah. Uh, just to, to recap, I mean, um, excessive anger, um, childishness, emotional baggage, um, sexual addiction, very important yeah. that one as well, especially in this day and age. Control freaks, uh, um, 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 opening up. Um, all this you can learn on the 13th of October. Yes. Of course, the three love gurus are going to be having a workshop for singles. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, this is the prelude to the Singles Cruise Asia that's happening uh, very, very soon as well. Call this number on your screen, 01230-77727. It's happening at the Melia Hotel Kuala Lumpur from 7 till 10 p.m. Remember, if you book your or call now and you book today, it's at 75 ringgit. Anytime after tomorrow, it goes up to 95. 95 ringgit. Siapa cepat dia dapat. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Andrew. So, Andrew, yeah. if, if, if uh, people out there were to meet or, or encounter flaws like this, they should drop the relationship straight away. I don't. Uh, I think they should work on it. <laughs> work you know, on it's it. not impossible. Yeah. True. Yeah. There is hope. There is always hope. Yes. Right. Okay. So, uh, next week, I'm wait. Next week when I'm here, I'm going to talk about the five mm. compatibility time bomb. Five, five compatibility time, time bombs. bombs. I mean, that will be interesting. So make yeah. sure you tune in next week for Andrew's segment. Excellent. Uh, and we will talk more about that. Sifu, yes. once again, thank you, thank you much. so much for, yeah. for, for your tips. Of course, do stay with us. We're going to go for a quick break right here on the breakfast show.